I got Mr. Jared Ublera. He's one of our senior first degree black belts. Uh, he's been with us for a long time. In fact, he started in the old school garage days with us. He's like one of the original, it's basically the original studio of Los Osos, to be honest. So, um, Mr. Ublera, how old were you when you got started? Uh, I was in the fifth grade, so either 10 or 11. I've kind of stopped keeping track of where uh, when I was started. Yeah, it was around there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, you were in elementary. <laughs> uh, man drives now, has his own car. Uh, he's working his own job. It's great to see. <laughs> uh, but uh, so, what was one of the reasons why you decided to do martial or get into martial arts? Um, originally it was because of one of my friends that I just happened to have known. He was really into it himself. He doesn't really do it anymore. But, uh, it's nice having something to bond with somebody else with. Yeah. And uh, what's some? What's one of the things that, as you were doing martial arts, that you really enjoyed? The you know, in in karate or like in general, like was it just the friendship, the uh, the moves, the karate? What was something that really you really enjoyed doing of the martial arts? Well, first it was just getting into it. Um, being able to really obsess over something was really nice to me. Uh, I wasn't very, very good, very athletic growing up so having something like karate where I didn't really need to be and still be able to um, physically best somebody in an altercation was really nice and then also the community that came with it uh, I remember being in like middle school and I'd just be like mom I want to go I want to go to Napomo right now because the, they have the karate school over there I want to go over there right now because I have my friends over there and that was uh, the community was one of the big things that kept me here that's awesome that's really cool and uh you know, you, you kind of were a driving force for that Los Osos school. I mean, really, we started Los Osos because you kind of, you came in along with a group of others that pushed us to get, come in. Uh, how was it being like that, like that mentor to the group? How did that feel, that leadership role of helping others? Uh, I felt like that kind of solidified and eventually pushed me into deciding what career I wanted to choose in the future. Uh, I realized I really liked that leadership role and um, making change in somebody's life for the better. And uh, I think at first it starts with just teaching a class or two and then eventually you're spending your summer working here trying to get these kids to do the same move at least once just at the same time. Right. Uh, but yeah, no, I totally agree. I mean, it's it, the, the, the feeling of giving like, you know, that, that instruction, but then once it clicks, it's like that, that reward is, you know, it's just, it's great. So obviously, with you, you've been doing this for many years. In fact, one of our first black belts that we promoted in the area um, and just have excelled. And I'm, we're, we're all very proud instructors and just, you know, we, we're just proud of you as an individual, how much you've accomplished. Because I've seen that now you're taking on so many roles in high school, you're playing music, you're, you're conquering music, you're conquering wrestling, you're working other martial arts. And, and how, did, how did that goal setting, or how did those goals help you prepare for that? Like, what did you do to, to actually be able to feel like, I can accomplish these other things? Um, what I kind of realized was after a while, once you stick with something enough, like for me it was martial arts, once you stick with something enough, you really can do anything. Uh, I found um, obsessing over martial arts was what helped me obsess with other things and eventually reach whatever goals I had in another field. Uh, yes, uh, mentally having something to cling on to day in, day out, day night, or uh, every night. I would go to sleep, I'm like, oh, that move that I hit on that person just wasn't quite right. And then 
you know, that obsession kind of festered and fostered into whatever else I wanted to do. So I started playing music. And then that same obsession where I was just thinking, this is the scale that I'm going to use. This is the song that we're about to play. This is how I'm going to act upstage. That same obsession kind of transferred over. And then the same obsession also transferred over to wrestling work for since the beginning of this past season i've just been thinking all right this series right here is going to fit into right uh, into this situation and then if this shot fails and i go into this other shot or i take his back and i flip him over but if he's too heavy i just throw him over and that constantly thinking about something it gives you a drive in life it gives you something to do or to see it accomplish more goals <laughs> yeah.